Welcome to JavaScript Design Patterns, 20 Patterns for Advancing Your JavaScript Skills, a packed publishing. I'm your author, Ben Falla. The purpose of this title is to give you a deep dive overview of the world of JavaScript design patterns, demonstrating to you how could you mobilize key programming concepts and common solutions to common problems that JavaScript developers face. By the end of this course, you're going to be armed with the understanding of the techniques to leverage this many design patterns, 20 design patterns that will literally change the way you program. Not only will you understand them, you're also going to understand when will they is best to apply them. This title is, is sectioned into five sections, wherein the first section is going to be dedicated to those first steps in JavaScript. It assumes you know JavaScript and maybe even a little bit object-oriented JavaScript. The focus is not about the foundations of the language, but the foundations of design patterns. And with it, we're going to be introduced and we're going to talk about global scope. We're going to talk about the namespace design pattern. We're going to talk about a few other design patterns that their main intention is to hide the global scope and even create privacy in JavaScript, which is natively not supported. And we're going to learn how to do that using the reveal pattern and the module reveal patterns. So we're we're going to learn quite a lot of patterns and all these patterns together are going to give us the baseline, the foundation for everything else we're going to do in the rest of the title. Now the remainder of the title, the remaining four sections are divided really into three categories. The first category, which we're, we're going to meet inside of section two, is creational design patterns. Creational design patterns are design patterns that relate to the creation of new objects. There's quite a few of them. We're going to meet the singleton, the factory, the abstract factory, the builder, and even the prototype design patterns. And through them, we're going to learn about the best techniques and when to use them to create new objects. That's a, that was section two. Section 3 and Section 4 are both dedicated, because it's a very big topic, they're dedicated to structural design patterns. Structural design patterns, contrary to the process of creating one object, focus on the architecture of your whole application. Structural design patterns focus on the structuring of the creation of your objects and classes and so forth. In Section 3, we're going to meet the adapter, composite, and the decorator design patterns, while in Section 4, we're going to continue exploring these design patterns, these structural design patterns, and we're going to meet the flyweight, the facade, the bridge, and the proxy design patterns. Once you get all of these design patterns, you're going to have a lot of really great strategies for your creational process and your structural process in your site as a whole. And in general, you're going to have really great solutions also interacting with other developers and other platforms. We're going to talk about a lot of topics in these two sections. We're going to complete this title in section five with the last of the category of design patterns, which is the behavioral design patterns. Behavioral design patterns focus on interactions between classes or objects in the case of JavaScript. In this title, we won't be able to cover every single one of the behavioral design patterns, and for that matter, every single design pattern that exists, but we're going to go to the most popular ones, and we're going to show you the best ways to leverage them in JavaScript. And in section five, we're going to meet the chain of responsibility, we're going to meet the observer, and we're going to meet also the state design pattern. And with it, we're going to complete this title. And by the end of it, you're going to have a really strong foundation and should be able to integrate design patterns into your workflow. So I hope to see you in the title. Let's jump right into it and I'll meet you inside. Let's start developing and designing with design patterns.